of the dogs, dog king. He's the king of the dogs, dog king. He's the king of the dogs, dog king. He's the king of the dogs. His mother was a dog, his father was a king, so now he's dog king, and he's king of the dogs, dog king. His bite is worse than his bark, dog king. Because he bites like a shark, dog king. You know he's ruling the streets. Dog King, he won't roll over for treats. His mother was a dog, his father was a king, so now he's Dog King, and he's king of the dogs. Dog King! Today we find Dog King, king of the dogs, sitting on his throne, gazing out at his kingdom. To be honest, it wasn't much of a kingdom. It was more of a dirty alley between two laundromats. And, as long as we're being honest, it wasn't much of a throne either. It was more of a dirty, lumpy old mattress that someone had left out in the rain. And while we're being perfectly, completely, entirely honest, Dog King himself was pretty dirty and lumpy. In fact, it was hard to tell where Dog King ended and the mattress began. So much so that many of the loyal dog subjects gathered around the throne wondered if the king and the mattress were related. Distant cousins, perhaps. But of course, no one dared to ask. What's on the royal schedule today? Dog King proclaimed loudly. From the assembled crowd came a shaking and simpering chihuahua, who Dog King called his royal assistant, but whom everyone else called Pickles. Uh, well, there's the 10 a.m. pee tour. And where will we be peeing today? I have you slated for 7th, 8th, and 9th streets, Your Majesty. Perfect. And next? 11 a.m. is second breakfast. Of course. Then noon is first lunch. Hmm, what's on the menu? It's trash day at Krusty Burger, so you'll have your pick of the dumpster. We've had reports that there are expired rib witches due to arrive. Delicious. Then we have your 12.30 stretch and sniff. I've lined up some lovely butts for you to sample today. Wonderful. And then this afternoon... Dog King! The voice cut over the royal assistant and echoed down the alley. All the dogs in the alley turned to look. The ones with ears that could perk perked them. The ones with floppy ears just tilted their heads. With a jingle of dog tags, a great rust-brown pit bull with a spiked and studded collar stomped up to the throne. Pickles puffed himself up importantly. What is the meaning of this? Out of my way, twerp! I'm here to speak to the king! Dog King stood up. He did it slowly, partly to look regal, but mostly so that his cardboard crown wouldn't fall off. First... Apologize to the royal assistant, and then I will hear what you have to say. The pit bull wagged his tail and laid down before the throne. Geez, sorry, Pickles. I guess I was in a rush. <laughs> said Pickles. Very good, very good, said Dog King, scratching at his favorite group of fleas. Now what is your name, friend? Rambo. Very well, Rambo. Why have you come to see me, Dog King, King of the Dogs? Someone stole my stuffy bunny! The royal herald gasped. A murmur ran through the crowd. Dog King shook his head with disbelief. Ah! What kind of monster would do such a thing? Pickles cried. Well, I know who took- A stuffy bunny! A theft in our kingdom! What is the world coming to? Well, I could tell you. Oh, the dog manatee! Did it have a squeaker? Yes, it did. If you let me- it had a squeaker. We have a squeaker sneaker. Dog King, we have a squeaker sneaker. Enough, barked Dog King. Someone please take the royal assistant for a walk to calm down. Thank you, Dog King, said Rambo. Now, as I was saying, I know who took my stuffy bunny. Tell me who did the deed, and justice shall be dispensed. It was Rex, the crowd gasped. Rex the Golden Doodle? No, the other Rex. The crowd gasped again. Rex the Pomeranian? No, the other, other Rex. The crowd gasped a third time. The boxer? Yes. Dog King drew himself up to his full height, careful not to lose his crown. Guards? A trio of German shepherds came forth and saluted crisply with big shaggy paws. Go find other other Rex and bring him back to face the king's justice. 
The guards turned and marched out of the alley, pausing only to pee against a brick wall, chew an old boot, lick a strange puddle, and wrestle a bit in the grass. Dog King sighed. The dumpster behind the crusty burger would have to wait. Shortly after, the guards returned with a scruffy-looking boxer in their midst. As they neared, the crowd could see a stuffy bunny in his mouth, and they began to growl and bark. Bring forth the accused? The boxer was nudged forward, and he sat before the dirty mattress throne. And the accuser? Rambo came forward. Other other Rex, you've been accused of stealing this dog stuffy bunny? Don't forget the squeaker, shouted Pickles. Won't someone think of the squeaker? Right, right, of course. You've been accused of stealing this dog stuffy bunny with squeaker. How do you plead? The boxer dropped the bunny before the throne and glared at Rambo. He's lying. This is my stuffy bunny. He's trying to steal it from me. Dog King looked from dog to dog while the crowd murmured anxiously. Rambo, is this true? Dog King, the stuffy bunny is mine, I swear. Dog King began to wag his tail with excitement. In that case, there's only one way to settle this. He paused for dramatic effect. Tug of war! The crowd began to bark and howl and wag with excitement. They all took up the chant. Tug of war! Tug of war! Tug of war! A space before the throne was cleared and the stuffy bunny, with Squeaker, was set in the middle. On one side was Rambo. On the opposite side was other, other Rex. They glared at each other. Hackles raised, and each grabbed a mouthful of the toy. The rules are simple. Each dog tugs his hardest, and whoever comes away with the stuffy bunny... With Squeaker! With Squeaker is the winner. The crowd panted eagerly, dozens of tails wagging in unison. The dog king spun three times for comfort, and then sat on his throne. Begin! Rambo and other other Rex immediately dug in and began to pull with everything they had. Their paws planted firm, their nails scratching and scritching on the grubby alley pavement. They seemed evenly matched. The crowd watched on silently until Pickle's voice rang out. Oh, sweet Georgia Brown! It's starting to rip! He was right. As both dogs pulled, the stuffy bunny, with Squeaker, was beginning to split down the middle. Other other Rex snarled and pulled even harder, but Rambo... Rambo gave a sad whine and opened his mouth letting the boxer pull away the toy. Ah ha ha! cried the boxer. I won! The stuffy bunny is mine! Not so fast, declared the dog king. Rambo, you let go? Why would you let him win? Rambo, his tail and ears tucked back, answered. Dog king, I just love my stuffy bunny so much. I couldn't bear to see it rip. I'd rather lose than see it torn in half. Just as I suspected. Guards, give the stuffy bunny to Rambo. What? growled other other Rex. I won the tug of war. You may have won the war, but you lost the other war. You were willing to tear the stuffy bunny to shreds, while Rambo was not. You see, only the stuffy bunny's true owner would rather lose it than see it destroyed. The guards delivered the stuffy bunny, with Squeaker, to Rambo, whose tail wagged so fast it nearly flew off. Other other Rex, knowing he had been outsmarted by Dog King, King of the Dogs, slunk away in defeat. Thus is the judgment of Dog King, cried Pickles. All hail Dog King, King of the Dogs! The crowd of dogs cheered loudly, barking and howling and yipping and more. Very good, very good, said Dog King. Now all this wisdom has got me hungry for first lunch. What do you say we go and hit that ribwich dumpster? The crowd cheered again, and off they went, Dog King, as always, leading the way. The End Dog King, he's the king of the dogs. 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 His mother was a dog, his father was a king, so now he's Dog King, and he's king of the dogs. Dog King, his bite is worse than his bark. Dog King, because he bites like a shark. Dog King, you know he's ruling the streets. 
dog king. He won't roll over for treats. His mother was a dog, his father was a king, so now he's dog king, and he's king of the dogs. Dog king! Thanks for listening!